Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. British military intelligence reported Sunday that Russian politicians are calling for more Russians to be mobilized to serve in the National Guard. Russian politicians are calling for Putin's private army to be reinforced as pressure mounts over the war in Ukraine with more than 2,000 Russians arrested for protesting against mobilization. Used to quell protesters and enforce state violence at home. With a requirement to quell growing domestic dissent in Russia, as well as operational taskings in Ukraine. Rosarjavadia is highly likely under particular strain, said the UK Ministry of Defence in a briefing note. The Rosarjavadia, created in 2016 to fight terrorism and organised crime, is a private army, whose loyalty is to the president rather than to the state. According to Stefan Hedlund, a Swedish academic and expert on Russian and Soviet studies, with Western countries calling them a sham, designed to disguise an illegitimate attempt by Moscow to seize Ukrainian territory. The force was recently used to facilitate Russia's referendums in parts of occupied Ukrainian territory. The intelligence brief said high-profile Russian nationalist Duma member Alexander Kinstein proposed to reinforce the guard and open the door for more units to fight in Ukraine, suggesting the Kremlin is struggling to keep deserts at bay both at home and abroad. It comes after nearly three-quarters of countries in the United Nations Assembly voted on Saturday to reprimand Russia and demand it withdraw its troops shortly after the February 24 invasion that Russia's military campaign has killed tens of thousands, left some Ukrainian cities wastelands and triggered Russia's biggest confrontation with the West since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. Russia calls a special military operation. Ukraine's military said early on Sunday that Russian forces had launched dozens of missile attacks and airstrikes on military and civilian targets, including 35 feet settlements, in the past 24 hours. Russia also used drones to attack the center of the southern city of Odessa, Ukraine's military said. No casualties were reported. Russia denies targeting civilians. Its Rhea State News Agency reported that Ukrainian forces bombed a hotel in the city of Kherson, killing two people. Russian forces have occupied the southern city since the early days of the invasion. There has been no immediate response from Ukraine, with MailOnline unable to immediately verify either side's claims. The votes on becoming part of Russia were hastily organized after Ukraine recaptured large swathes of the northeast in a counteroffensive this month. Ukrainian officials said people were banned from leaving occupied areas until the four-day vote was over. Armed groups were going into homes. Said the regions where votes are underway would be under Moscow's full protection if they are annexed by Russia including territory, further enshrined, in Russia's constitution in the future, is under the full protection of the state. All of the laws, doctrines, and employees were threatened with the sack if they did not participate. Lavrov, in a news conference following his speech to the Assembly in New York, concepts and strategies of the Russian Federation apply to all of its territory, he said also referring specifically to Russia's doctrine on the use of nuclear weapons. Ukraine's foreign minister, Dmytro Kuleba, said Russia's statements on the possible use of nuclear weapons were absolutely unacceptable, and Kyiv would not give in to them. We call on all nuclear powers to speak out now and make it clear to Russia that such rhetoric put the world at risk and will not be tolerated, Kuleba said. 
Ukraine has requested an urgent UN Security Council meeting over the referendums, accusing Russia of violating the UN Charter by attempting to change Ukraine's borders. Russia said the referendums offer an opportunity for people in those regions to express their view. The group of seven industrialized economies said they will not recognize the results of the votes. Asked if Russia would have grounds for using nuclear weapons to defend annexed regions of Ukraine, Lavrov said Russian territory. Putin on Wednesday ordered the first mobilization since World War II, sending some Russian men swiftly toward borders. With traffic at frontier crossings with Finland and Georgia surging and prices for air tickets from Moscow rocketing. More than 2,000 people have been detained across Russia for protesting the draft, including 798 people in 33 towns on Saturday, according to independent monitoring group OVD Info. Frustration has even spread to pro-Kremlin media, with one editor at the state-run RT News Channel complaining that call-up papers being sent to the wrong men, adding that such issues were infuriating people. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone.